mutilated, ignored and sad. Lydia is one of the most depressing characters in The Witcher. She is a sorceress and both the assistant and secretary of Vilgefort. Not much is known about her past from before she worked for Vilgefort, but she most likely like all northern sorceresses went to Artusa to study magic. I assume she is from the north, but I do not know this for sure, yet how other northern mages know her I just expect her to also be from the north. She was ignored most of her life, seen as just a sorceress of almost no importance. She wasn't the most talented magic user, but she did have a talent for painting. Her oil paintings were masterfully made. One of them could even still be found in Amatuna's halls more than a century later. But just being ignored by your peers isn't all that bad compared to what happens to some other characters in The Witcher. The truly more saddening parts in her life all started when she became employed by Vilgefort. Around 1263, most likely shortly after the Battle of Sodom, Lydia, on the recommendation of Vilgefort, took part in experiments that were done upon an ancient artifact found in an old necropolis. She and the four other mages that were there managed to activate the artifact which turned out to be cursed. Three mages died on the spot. Another one lost his eyes and hands resulting in him going mad. Lydia however got burned, her jaw was mangled and she got a mutation to her larynx and throat. All the damage done to her wouldn't heal, using regenerating spells, and instead the bottom part of her face was covered with a powerful illusion to hide the mess that was beneath it. It was said to have looked hideous, bad enough to make people faint. As a result of this, she never spoke with her own voice. Instead, she used telepathy to talk to people. It became common knowledge among mages to not stare at her face and instead look away, as a way to not be disrespectful, as staring at her jaw was seen as a big breach of etiquette. The mouth always is an important part of the face to show emotions. Yet, due to the illusion, she wasn't able to move her mouth at all because it was a static illusion. As a result, all of her expressions had to be read from her eyes, which were said to be very expressive. One might wonder why she would want to fork for Vilgefort in the first place, and why she would still work for him after that failed experiment. The answer is love. Lydia van Bredevoort loved Vilgefort of Roggeveen. It was common knowledge among mages, yet she didn't show any clear signs of affection. She was too proud to confess her feelings towards him. Vilgefort was said to be aware of her that she loved him, but he was said to have no feelings for her. He therefore pretended that he didn't know how she felt about him to make things easier between him. There were those who had advised Vilgefort to take Lydia as his lover, yet he didn't do this. He was too proud and principled for that. He wouldn't do it, even if it could have brought Lydia a bit of happiness. They both learned to live with their feelings, yet Lydia missed happiness and joy in her life. As you might be aware, Felgefort isn't the nicest person to work for. He tortures, kills and uses people for his own gain. So what exactly did Lydia do while working for Felgefort? Well in the books we can see that she is also responsible for incoming mail, so she is just her, like his personal email box. And among other things, she probably makes appointments for him like any typical secretary would do. She also, when guest visits, serves them food and drinks, while silently standing in the corner of coming from behind the curtain with her silken dress. She also fed Vilgefort's broccoli. But back to Vilgefort using people, torturing them and killing them. So he did to her on Thanat. Once the coup took place, Vilgefort had given the order to Lydia to kill herself. She attacked the rebelling mages and then out of nowhere she was dead, with her own dagger in her breastbone. 
Upon dying, her illusion vanished and people saw the horror that was her lower jaw and throat. But why? Why did Vilgefort give her the order? And why did she do it? Geralt speculated that Vilgefort needed a distraction. He was captured and needed time to become resistant to Darmeritium and get a message out to Rient. Therefore he sent the woman that loved him into her death. But the thing is, we never hear Vilgefort confirming any of this. Instead, he becomes very angry. But there is one thing that might not be completely true from the things told about the relation between Lydia and Vilgefort. There is a chance he did feel something for her. As when Geralt confronts Vilgefort, he becomes very angry when questioned by Geralt to why he commanded her to die. This might be an indication that he actually seemed to feel something for Lydia. But maybe he saw this weakness or something else that would get in his way if he gave in to those feelings. As if he couldn't get as powerful as he felt he was meant to be if he showed how he felt to Lydia. But this isn't outright confirmed, it's just some speculation. Lydia lived her life out of sight of most mages. She was mutilated by a failed experiment and the man that she loved pretended that he didn't know about it. He even commanded her to kill herself. She wouldn't be remembered for her magic. Instead, it will be her paintings for which she will be remembered for many centuries in the future. That was it for Lydia van Bredevoort. As a quick side note, in the end, her last name van Bredevoort is Dutch. And there is a small town in the Netherlands towards the eastern side. Uh, with only like one and a half thousand people population, which is called Bredevoort, with the exactly the same spelling as her last name. Till the next video. Bye.